Unless you are literally living in a cave, then you'll have heard about the downfall of pirate software. You know, that guy who roached out of that dungeon, lies to his fans, spends almost 10 years making the same game, and on top of it all, quadruples, no, quintuples down on everything that he says. Didn't even look as much there. as you're angry right now, of course I ran. I don't know. You, you overpulled and you weren't paying attention to where the boss was. That's not on me. Yeah, that's right. This is a satirical video. Let's go! So today, I'm going to prove that his game, Heartbound, which has been in development for almost 10 years, is not as hard to make as it seems, okay? Or at least as he's making it out to be. Now, you might ask, why am I doing this? Well, it's because his downfall has been absolutely hilarious and I've been following that shit like a moth follows a fucking flame, all right? Literally every video I see pop up on my feed, I gotta watch it, even those like two and a half hour ones, it's just so funny. So I wanted to get in on the action and meme on him even harder. So. The portion of Heartbound that I'm going to be recreating is this first boss fight where there's a bunch of mini games included in this one fight and they are all so hilariously easy that I'm convinced even a toddler could figure them out. The first game we got here is this little tennis match thing. I don't really know what's going on. You, the guy just shoots a projectile at you and you gotta hit it back enough times to where it eventually kills him. And it does seem like it speeds up a little bit, but this is gonna take me like 20 minutes. Hold my energy drink, boys. <laughs> Alright, first thing we need is the background, which is sort of this like starry night. So I literally just got a PNG of some stars and put a border around it. Easy stuff. Next thing, the actual enemy himself just reminds me of an egg for some reason so I literally just created this little egg and he's got these two like claws which look like knives so boom karambits and then because we've got an egg uh, instead of some random dude with an axe I turned our player into a chef with a frying pan so he's fighting the egg because that's what happens in the kitchen right it's raw next all I had to do was spawn another projectile from the egg have it shoot towards the player and then have my frying pan swivel left and right when I press the appropriate arrow keys. And if it's in this predetermined zone that I've made using this box, then it will shoot back at the enemy. And after a couple rounds of this, speeding up every time I hit it, then the enemy will take damage. And if I let it hit me and don't manage to hit it back, then I take damage, you know? Really easy, simple game. Literally about 20 minutes, like, come on. Next one we have is this little rock click where a load of rocks will just like fall from the top of the screen and then you gotta press them before they reach the bottom and they go like dead slow <laughs> for some reason. So I'm not doing that, I'm gonna ramp it up. So I've got a box which you just randomly spawn these projectiles in within the confides of and then you just send them towards the player. The same thing again. I've got a predefined area where if they touch, it'll damage me. And if I click them in time, it'll damage the enemy. But I'm gonna speed them up over time and do a lot more because this sucks. And it literally takes me about 10 minutes to implement this after I got the base stuff in. So this is my go. Okay, next up we have a dodging game where you literally just move back and forth to avoid a very obviously incoming attack. So in Heartbound, you can see that two of the, I don't know, limbs like sort of glow before they swipe at you and attack you, which is very easy to see, very easy to dodge. Like, like I said, like a toddler could probably complete this game. So I'm gonna recreate it in about 20 minutes. Let's give it a go. So first things first, I added some points for each of the limbs to attack. So we've got the two karambit and then the egg itself. So these three things will just shoot forwards at the player in their own sort of lanes. Again, very easy to implement. I just added some invisible points that it would just lurp towards. And then to add a sort of indicator of what's going to attack, instead of like making them glow or anything, I just added a bit of hovering movement so like they sort of float up a bit. So then you know which two are going to attack you and you can promptly move out of the way. And then um, same thing for the player movement, it's literally just three invisible points that when pressing the arrow keys it'll just move you in between. Like I said, very easy game to make, literally took me about 20 minutes. And finally that brings us on to the last game which is this sort of Simon Says eyeball clicker thing I don't I don't really know basically the enemy grows like four more heads and then they like blink in an order and you just have to press them in that order and there can only be like a maximum of five at a time which is like like what how is any of this hard like bro it's so easy anyway let's just let's just make the stupid game all right so I added four more eggs onto the main egg and I just made each of the egg yolks 
change material colour in order so it just sort of blinks just like it does in the game and then you just sort of track the order that it's randomly generated and every time the player presses one you add that to its own list and compare the order against each other if the order is out of line the player gets damaged if all the order is correct then the enemy gets damaged right very simple stuff easy logic just two arrays it's not millions of switch statements it's not hard literally completed this in less time than it takes pirate software to rant about stop killing games which by the way you should be supporting and that brings us to the end of this little experiment. So how long did I actually spend making all of these mini games? Well, literally about two hours. It really didn't take that long, not even a work day. But then again, I didn't polish the games. Maybe Pirate Software's polishing Heartbound for the past eight years, who knows? Who knows, maybe he's just lying to everyone about working on the game. You can decide which one's more likely. Could I have made them better? Yes. Did I make the games better? No, because this was a satirical video, okay? <laughs> Now please consider liking and subscribing this video if you liked what I've done. If you like any of my other videos on the channel, please subscribe. We're very close to 1k. It'd be sweet if we could get it. Also check out the gaming channel, Cheza. It's very good. Do remember, this video was kind of a joke, but also not. Game dev is hard, but sometimes it's not that hard. And these games really aren't that hard. And they definitely don't take eight years. Okay, uh, but... I'm going to go now, I'm going to go and enjoy some more of Pirate Software's downfall. I'll see you there, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. You heard this guy worked at Blizzard? Oh man, did you read that in a Reddit thread? Tell me about it in the unbanned request, chat hopper. You're overreacting? No I'm not, I worked at Blizzard for seven years.